Jerome Magainla is not just a name in the annals of hockey. He's a legend. Born on July 1, 1977, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Ijinla's journey to NHL greatness began with humble roots, but eventually led him to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Ijinla's story is one of perseverance and determination. Despite facing numerous obstacles, including doubts about his size and ability, he emerged as one of the most dominant players of his generation. Standing at 6 feet 1 inch tall and weighing around 210 pounds, he possessed a rare combination of skill, strength, and tenacity that made him a force to be reckoned with on the ice. Drafted 11th overall by the Dallas Stars in the 1995 NHL Entry Draft, Aguila was quickly traded to the Calgary Flames, where he would spend the majority of his illustrious career. It was in Calgary where he would etch his name into the franchise's history books and become a beloved figure among Flames fans. Ijinla's offensive prowess was evident from the start. He possessed a lethal shot, exceptional playmaking abilities, and a knack for coming up clutch in critical moments. His breakout season came in 2001 to 2002 when he captured the Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy as the NHL's leading goal scorer with 50 to goals, becoming the first black player to win the award. However, Ijinla's impact extended far beyond individual accolades. He was a true leader both on and off the ice, serving as captain of the Flames for over a decade. Under his guidance, Calgary reached the Stanley Cup final in 2004, although they fell sure to the Tampa Bay Lightning in a hard-fought seven-game series. Despite the loss, Ijinla's performance throughout the playoffs solidified his reputation as one of the game's premier players. Throughout his 20-year NHL career, Aguila amassed an impressive array of accomplishments. He scored 625 goals and recorded 675 assists for a total of 1,300 points in 1,554 regular season games. In addition to his Rocket Richard Trophy, he won the Artros Trophy as the league's leading point scorer in 2002 and claimed two Olympic gold medals with Team Canada in 2002 and 2010. Ijinla's impact wasn't limited to his on-ice achievements. He was known for his philanthropy and community involvement, earning him the NHL Foundation Player Award in 2004 for his charitable efforts. Whether he was donating to children's hospitals, supporting underprivileged youth, or advocating for various causes, Aguila used his platform to make a positive difference in the lives of others. In 2018, Aguila officially announced his retirement from professional hobby bringing an end to an extraordinary career that solidified his status as one of the greatest players in NHL history. His legacy continues to inspire future generations of players, and his induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2020 was a fitting tribute to his remarkable contributions to the game. Jerome Ejinla's journey from a young kid with big dreams to a hockey icon is a testament to his talent, work ethic, and character. His impact on the sport of hockey and the communities he touched will be felt for years to come, ensuring that his legacy remains forever enshrined in the hearts of fans and the annals of hockey history. So what are your thoughts about Jerome again? Do you think he should or not be in the Hall of Fame? Write in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thanks for watching.